begin in Allah's blessed name. What is the Khilafah? The Khilafah is state and government in Islam. What is Islam? The definition of Islam is submission to Allah. What is submission to Allah? Submission to Allah is submission to Allah as Al-Malik. In some translations in English, you find Malik as king. No, we don't want that translation tonight. We're dealing with political terminology here tonight. And so Al-Malik is the sovereign. Now that's a word you'll understand. Sovereign. Lahul Mulk. Sovereignty belongs to him. And so to submit to Allah in Islam is to submit to Allah as sovereign who possesses sovereignty. To submit to anyone else as sovereign. To declare that anyone else possesses sovereignty is to say goodbye to Allah. Did you hear that? To submit to Allah is to submit to Allah as Al-Akbar. And he reminds you that he is Al-Akbar. Because every time you perform salat, you cannot move in salat without Allahu Akbar. Al-Akbar is the one who has supreme authority. And so the Khilafah is a state and government which submits to Allah's authority as supreme. For a Muslim to submit to anyone else and recognize his authority as supreme is to say goodbye to Allahu Akbar. Islam is to submit to Allah as Al-Hakam. The 99 names, this is one of them. Al-Hakam is the lawgiver who not only gives the law, but his law is the supreme law. And when he makes something haram, it must be enforced as haram. And so anyone who submits to any law other than Allah's law as the supreme law has said goodbye to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as al-haqam. This is called, in the political terminology of Islam, this is called shirk. When Fir'aun declared, and of course everyone knows what Fir'aun said, Ana Rabbukumul A'la I am the one who is sovereign. I possess sovereignty. That was shirk. When he declared, Ana Rabbukumul A'la I am the one who possesses supreme authority. That was shirk. When he declared, Ana Rabbukumul A'la my law is the supreme law in the land of Egypt. That was shirk. And Allah punished him with terrible punishment for his shirk. This then was the Khilafah, a system of state and government in which Muslims could submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as al-Malik, as al-Akbar. As al -haqam. Do you use an epistemology that knowledge comes only from external observation and rational inquiry to take mankind to materialism, but there is no reality beyond material reality. And then you apply that to political thought. And so out of philosophical materialism emerges a new political philosophy. What does it say? Since there is no reality beyond material reality, we can no longer collectively recognize sovereignty up there, so sovereignty must now be relocated down here. 
the people are now suffering, no longer the God of Ibrahim And the people constitute the state and they locate sovereignty in the state. So the state is now sovereign. This is a European creation. It didn't come out of the world of Islam. Oh no. Not only is the state sovereign, but the authority of the state is supreme. And it is the state which now makes law. And the law of the state is the highest law, the supreme law. But more than that, the God of Abraham alayhi salam could make something haram. But we, the state, can change that and make it halal, meaning legalize it. If I am wrong, get up and correct me. Eh? Get up and correct me. We can change it and make it halal, meaning legalize it. Everything that Allah had made haram, they made it halal. When they declared that sovereignty belonged to them, not to Allah, that was shirk. It was shirk for Fir'aun, it is shirk for them. When they declared that the authority of the state is supreme, that was shirk. When they declared that the law of the secular state is the highest law, that was shirk. And when they declared halal what Allah made haram, meaning when they legalized what Allah made haram, that was shirk. Surah Tawbah of the Quran, Ba'da'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajeem, ittakhadhu ahbarahum wa rahbanahum arbaba min dunillah. They took their priests and their rabbis as arbab, lords and gods beside Allah. Wal Masih ibn Maryam, and they did the same thing with the Messiah, the son of Mary. Wa ma umiru illa ya'abudu ilahan wahid, but they had not been commanded other than to worship one God. La ilaha illa hu, there is no God beside him. Subhanahu, glory be to him. Amma. Yushrikun. Far removed is he from this act of shirk. Taking your priests and your rabbis as gods and lords beside Allah. Shirk, says Allah. A man came to the Prophet and said, O Messenger of Allah, but the Christians do not worship their priests and the Jews do not worship their rabbis. How could Allah say so? To which the Prophet replied and he said, Did they not make halal what Allah had made haram? That is their shirk. My question tonight, Lakemba, is this. If the priest and the rabbi make halal what Allah made haram and that is shirk, then if the government does the same thing, would it not be shirk? Now embraced, the entire world of Islam is now embraced by the modern secular state. Whenever I talk on two subjects, a lot of people now begin to behave strangely towards me. But while it pains my heart, it will not change me. Because I do not teach Islam, please people. I try to do it to please my Lord. When I talk on the subject of riba, some people begin to hate me. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Or when I talk on this subject also. When a Muslim goes and votes in the elections to constitute the government which will preside over this shirk, you intend to shirk. But if you don't believe me and you want to go and vote in elections, I am not stopping you. So don't let there be any bad blood between us. I'm not stopping you. But when you enter in the grave and you find that you've entered into shirk, do not plead ignorance. That's all. Stand up like a man and take it on that day. This is now the universal shirk that the Prophet had prophesied. He said the time would come when shirk will be everywhere, it'll be so difficult to recognize it. However, as difficult as it would be to recognize a black ant on a black stone on a dark night. So if you did not recognize it before this lecture, don't be surprised. But now you know. Now you know. Now you know.